Antibiotic resistance is increasing globally. As a healthcare professional, what can you do to keep antibiotics working? Antibiotics have saved millions of lives around the world. But antibiotic resistance keeps increasing globally, including in Europe. We are now facing the possibility of a future where antibiotics will no longer be effective. Up to half of all antimicrobial use in European hospitals may be unnecessary or inappropriate. For example, the patient may not require antibiotics in the first place. Or the antibiotic prescribed may be of the wrong dose or of the wrong kind. Or the antibiotic may be given to the patient too late or for too long. Everyone working in a hospital or a long-term care facility can do their part to preserve the effectiveness of antibiotics so that they can still cure infections. As an infectious disease specialist or clinical microbiologist, you can set up an antimicrobial stewardship program. This can ensure that tools and guidelines on how to use antibiotics are disseminated and followed, that staff get proper training, that monitoring and reporting systems are put in place, and that infection prevention and control measures are implemented. As a clinician, there are also many things to be done. You can ensure that infection prevention and control measures are implemented. You can ensure that antibiotics are not given for longer than recommended, in particular for surgical prophylaxis. When prescribing antibiotic therapy, you can make sure that microbiological samples are taken before antibiotics are given. You can also ensure that patients and their families understand when antibiotics should and should not be taken, and how to take them. Antibiotic resistance is a threat to patient safety, and we must take it seriously. The good news is there is still a lot we can do to keep antibiotics working. Take microbiological samples before giving antibiotics. Do not give antibiotics longer than recommended. Check that infection prevention and control measures are in place. Inform patients and their families on when and how antibiotics should be taken.